Yeah. Charleston Southern head coach Gabe Gardenia, the team coming off a big 35-21 win against Tennessee State. Uh, that's their last home game. Two on the road. They got Robert Morris this week and then Gardner Webb. So, Coach, tell us about that win, and then we'll go to some questions. Uh, well, I mean, obviously a big, big win to get one on senior day, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, sending our guys out the right way. And uh, the, uh, you know, obviously defensively, I uh, thought we really played well. Uh, we had the four turnovers. Uh, we scored off of uh, one of them there and set ourselves up to score at the end of the game to take the lead. And uh, and then getting seven sacks, just, just you know, pressuring those guys um, like crazy uh, really helped us. Um, uh, you know, and then offensively, you know, we, you know, Isaiah, you know, really stepped up, you know, uh, you know, in the, uh, you know, in Zoltan's absence there and uh, and did a good job, managed the game well through, through a couple touchdowns, um, you know, made a couple, you know, winning plays. And, and that was just great for our, our team. We're really happy for him. Uh, and just just a good message to our team that you always got to be ready. Um, and so, uh, um, you know, but uh, I guess that's old news now. And, and now it's on to uh, – you know, these last two weeks on the road, we got to see if our, our game can travel. You know, we haven't won on the road yet. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, obviously uh, taking a long trip up there to Robert Morris, play a really good football team. You mentioned about, you know, injuries and people filling in. That that next man up mentality, sometimes it's not – my team can do it, but you obviously did. So, is that sort of like been the attitude your team has had all year when somebody goes down? Like, let's just get it done. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's something we talk about, you know, you, you, uh, you know, whether you actually have to, you know, put it into practice um, is, um, you know, uh, I guess up to uh, uh, the Lord and, and, but we've had to really use it. I mean, Dom Pagano, you know, uh, co-defensive player of the, the week, you know, he, he's, a, he's been a backup for us and uh, man, he's played really well, played really well two weeks ago as UT Martin kind of got banged up in that game. So, you know, didn't play much the next week uh, against Bryant, and then you know finally healthy again, and you know makes the uh, you know gets the interception or the fumble return, whatever it was for a touchdown, and uh, has the pick. You know, two drives later, uh, uh, just really happy for him, uh, and yeah, it's just for our whole team to see guys stepping up um, as we get thinner. You know, we had one of our will linebacker Ty Hollis, you know, played seventy five plays. Um, you know, and that's two weeks after uh, Amari Jenkins is the freshman of the week. Uh, with all those tackles he had against um, uh, UT Martin, so uh, you know, and Amari goes down, so you know, it's a uh, we are we're, we're uh, you know, Scotch tape and chewing gum in certain areas, but um, but our guys just keep competing, and and I'm really proud of them for that. And then your offense, you you, know, you talked a little bit about TSU's defense was playing really good. They have that Terrell Allen who was really tough. So how, you know, maybe one of your better offensive performances of the year, do you think, against a team with a really good defense? Uh, you know, I mean, if you look at it statistically, you know, I mean, they still held us, you know, to, to not very many yards. Um, we took advantage of some short fields, which was great. Um, and holding Terrell to one sack. I mean, I, you know, we, 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 uh, it was a great job by our own line. It was a good job by our offensive staff having a good plan to try to get the ball out quickly. Um, you know, I mean, their defensive front is, I mean, just, I mean, them, I mean, UT Martin, doggone, uh, Robert Morris's defensive front is, is, uh, is really good too. So, uh, uh, you know, it's a really good D line league right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, every week is you got to, you know, strap it up and be prepared. And, and, uh, uh, so yeah, I was proud of us offensively, um, you know, for what we were able to take advantage of and, and score 28 points. I think that's the most we've scored all season on offense. Uh, so yeah, absolutely uh, proud of the, uh, proud of our players. And then you, you referenced Robert Morris just then. They are uh, coming off a road win. They're first in almost four years. So the, you're probably catching them at the wrong time, right? It seems they're playing really well. You know, we, we, we I feel like we catch everybody at the wrong time. But, you know, it's – it's uh, uh, they're, they're a really good team, uh, very well coached. Um, you know, they got the Robinson kid uh, that's, that's playing really well for them. they got two tight ends that have caught a bunch of passes. Uh, they throw it around, uh, you know, extremely well and, and mix in, you know, the run game. Uh, to kind of keep you off balance, and, and then obviously played really great on the road, uh, in in uh, you know what looks like a hostile environment. I've never been to over there to Semo, but um, you know uh, you know they're, they're playing really well. The, the Mike linebacker, the I, I'm going to butcher his name, Cas Casale, uh, you know, kind of leads him in tackles. He's all over the place. You can tell he's directing traffic, and you can tell they always have a really good defensive plan to kind of make you play left-handed, um, trying to you know, take some things away from you and they mix it up, you know, really well. So you you got to have a, 
uh, you know, a good plan to to try to go move the football. Um, and uh, but our big thing is, hey, we got to travel. Like we have got to travel. Our game has got to travel. Uh, it can't just be good here in the friendly confines of the shipyard. Uh, you know, we're uh, you know in front of our home fans and, and in front of the uh, you know best inflatables in the conference. Uh, well, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. Uh, best of luck on that road trip, and we will talk to you again next Tuesday. Look, uh, uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Coach.